Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In the last video, we saw how to create a data analytics web application using Streamlit and Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload these web application into cloud service. As you know, in the last video, I told you I'm going to upload these web application into Azure cloud. But I faced one problem in the Azure. When I try to use my debit card for accessing the Azure portal, it's showing the validation error. I tried my credit card and debit card for accessing the Azure portal. So it is showing the validation error. I don't know why this is happening for me. I contacted Azure customer services, but still waiting for the responses. So don't worry about the Azure. I will upload a video using Azure services soon once this issue get fixed. Okay. In this video, I'm going to use the Streamlit cloud services to deploy my web application. You don't need to worry about the deployment of Azure because the concept of Azure is almost same in all clouds. Deploying in Streamlit is very easy than Azure. In Azure, you have to create the Azure resources separately. But in Streamlit, you don't need to do that. You just have to sign in into the Streamlit platform and then you will see this kind of interfaces. Before you reaching this interface, the Streamlit asks you to connect your GitHub account because it will access your code from the GitHub. You have to upload your code base into the GitHub for deploying your web application into Streamlit. Okay, so once you upload your files, you will reach up to this interface. And you can see here, there are four options you need to fill. In the repository option, you have to select your core repository. And next, you have to select your active code branch. And then finally, you need to connect your main code file into this option. So once you select all the options, you need to press the deploy option to start deploying your app. So look at this, once I press the deploy button, it takes only few seconds for me to deploy my app. Why? Because I already ran this deployment process in my system. So it happened very fast for me. But for you, it takes little bit of time to deploy. So before you deploy this app, you need to understand one thing. I will explain the problem with my code. Once you get clarified with my explanation, you can deploy your app on Streamlit. Okay. So take a look at my code base. Here I uploaded all my code files into this repository. First, I will explain what are the files and settings you have to configure before deployment. Okay. First, you need to create the requirements text file. In the requirement text file, you need to mention which libraries are required for run this app. In my case, I need Plotly and OpenPyXL for my files. So I mentioned those two libraries here. And then go to my main code. In the main code, I made some changes. I, the changes are very simple. I uploaded my data set into GitHub URLs. I always recommend you to upload your data files into GitHub URLs because it is always safe if you upload your data set into URLs. By doing this, you don't need to set any local path for the data sets. Okay. And the third one is always convert your Excel files into CSV ones because I faced this error while deploying my app into Streamlit. So once I converted the Excel files into CSV, I didn't face any errors while deploying. Okay. So this is how you have to deploy your web application into Streamlit. I'm sorry for the Azure thing. I hope they fix that issue soon. I will make Azure deployment video once it get fixed. Okay. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week.